while in 1975 there were only three megacities in the world, today there are 27 agglomerations, each with a population of more than 10 million inhabitants. The world's urban population in the developing world will double by 2050, and most of this growth will take place in Asia and Africa. Contrary to common belief, there is still a lack of information on where and under what conditions people live, especially in developing countries. Moreover, the migration of inhabitants from the countryside to urban settlements generates a continuous modification in the shape of towns and territories, a dynamic process which is difficult to monitor. This becomes very critical when dealing with a natural disaster or crisis. An understanding of where and how people live is fundamental to knowing how they will be affected. When an earthquake or a tsunami strikes, the damage must be quickly assessed and decisions made on where to intervene first. Understanding where people live also helps in planning urban development. Satellites are powerful tools, which can help identify human settlements. But up to now, translating satellite images into valuable information has been a slow, expensive and somewhat inefficient process. This is what researchers at the Joint Research Center, JRC, have been trying to improve. The JRC is the in-house science service of the European Commission. At the JRC in Ispra, Italy, a group of researchers coming from all over Europe has created a state-of-the-art system for monitoring human settlements. The Global Human Settlement Layer, GHSL, is able to automatically analyze satellite images coming from different sensors at any scale from anywhere in the world. Because the images are taken at different moments in time, urban growth can therefore be monitored. Today, for many parts of the world, there is no global population data that can be used for risk modeling and impact assessment. Hazards call upon us to think globally and act locally. GHSL is exactly that, a global method producing detailed settlement maps. Thanks to an algorithm able to process a huge amount of data and information, it is possible to map with the same parameters heterogeneous areas and settlements around the world. This allows planners to assess planning practices between different geographical areas and put forward proposals for more equitable cities. The JRC has developed an extremely efficient way of detecting built-up areas using satellite imagery. If you combine this information with local population data, you can create a high-resolution population grid. Such a grid is key to define and identify the optimal locations for new schools, hospitals or transport infrastructure. In addition, when you use such a grid, you can create new regional and local typologies, like for cities or rural areas. This is very important to identify the development perspectives of each of these types of areas. In the developing world, the possibility to look closely at and thoroughly monitor the urban fabric provides information on the population density level, the poverty level and the population needs. This becomes very important when dealing with megalopolis shanty towns and slums. The Global Urban Observatory of UN Habitat has been monitoring the Millennium Development Goal Slum Target using census data available every 10 years. Since we have been using Human Settlement Layer, we are able to update our database annually. By developing advanced tools and methods, the JRC helps enhance the European Union's capabilities to prevent and respond to humanitarian disasters and conflicts.